His Excellency, President of the Republic of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Valentin Ouamaria, Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Daniel Gamije, Professor Sanaid Fisteha, our keynote speaker, Chancellor of the University of Global Health Equity, Professor Paul Farmer, Vice Chancellor of the University of Global Health Equity, Professor Agnes Vinagwaho, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academics and Research Affairs, and the Dean of School of Medicine, Professor Abebe Bekele, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Administrative and Financial Affairs, Mr. Rogers Muradije, Governor of the Northern Province, Mr. Gatabazi Jean Marie Vianney, Dignitaries of Ureda District, UGH Board of Directors, Faculty and Staff of the University of Global Health Equity, Distinguished Guests, Graduates, Parents, Family and Friends of the University of Global Health Equity, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good afternoon. I want to begin this speech by saying this to the class of 2020. Congratulations for completing your master's degree in the midst of a pandemic. Or instead of saying congratulations, I guess I should say congratulations, you did it. But on a more serious note, our cohort represents over 12 different cultures. For many of us, myself included, this is the first time we have been in a classroom this diverse. And the beauty of this is that it has taught me a lot more than I could have ever learned in any classroom. And one of the most important lessons I have learned this year is that it will take us forever to vote on anything. But on a more serious note, the diverse perspectives each of you contributed to discussions in the classroom and conversations outside of the classroom have challenged me to see the world from different lenses. Your ability to tie personal experiences to global health scenarios has enabled me to make sense of concepts that seemed abstract in this field. Each one of you, in your own unique way, has taught me a valuable lesson about life and about global health. The world of global health that we are about to delve into as we have experienced this past year requires individuals who are willing to unlearn as much as they're willing to learn. It dares us to learn to be critical of existing healthcare systems and to offer sustainable solutions to the most pressing problems in global health. It also forces us to unlearn preconceived notions and come to face to face with our own misconceptions. As such, I want to encourage you to walk into this field as a child. I know this analogy sounds a bit misplaced, but allow me to expound on it. When children begin the stage of cognitive development, they use all the resources available to them to learn about the world. They do this through observing, listening, experimenting, exploring, and my favorite, asking questions. Children are never afraid to change their minds. They're the most vocal human beings you can think of, and they don't discriminate. Well, not always. In brief, they combine all the concepts we have learned this past year to make sense of the world around them and everything in it. And so as global health leaders, adopting the spirit of a child will allow us to be lifelong learners, to make wiser and more informed decisions and to embrace change however uncomfortable it may be. Tapping into the curiosity of a child within us will enable us to remain honest, humble, inquisitive, vocal, and inclusive. Global health is a puzzle made of individuals with unique experiences, thoughts, and personalities. To understand and see the bigger picture of global health, you need to fit these individual pieces together. As you walk from UGHE into this world, remember that we are part of a bigger movement, a historic movement to make quality healthcare accessible to all individuals, regardless of their race, ethnicity, gender, socioeconomic status, or sexual orientation. Earlier in this program, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Agnes Minagaho, delivered a powerful lecture on health as a human right. Now I call on you to take these tools and walk into this world, challenging the world to see health as a basic right for everyone and not a luxury that can only be accessed by the affluent members of society. UGHE has given us the tools we need to advance this movement to the next level. It is now up to us to change systems that promote or maintain health injustices, make policies that favor the marginalized and the poor, 
create organizations that serve communities that have often been overlooked, and lead movements that will change how health services are delivered to the impoverished. My charge to you, class of 2020, is to remain open to the invaluable lessons that the communities around us have to teach us and to be willing to admit that we do not know everything. I call on you to constantly reflect on your role in the bigger movement of global health and what you can do to amplify the voices of the communities that have historically lived within the margins of society. I cannot wait to see each one of you change the face of global health. Before I conclude, I wanna take this opportunity to thank the amazing faculty and staff members of UGHE that have contributed to our learning and growth. To Dr. Rex, Dr. Zahira, Dr. Phaedra, Dr. Yana, Dr. Emily, Dr. Akiki, Chloe, Yodone, and Enoch, and everyone who has taught us this year, we thank you for your patience and your commitment to molding the next generation of global health leaders. To Haguruka staff, La Payot staff, and the gardening team, we thank you for always putting a smile on our faces and taking good care of us. To our MBBS siblings, we are grateful for how you have made our experience at UGH you want to remember, and we cannot wait to celebrate you when you complete your medical education. Lastly, to our family and friends who are hopefully watching this online, thank you for your support and encouragement throughout this journey. We hope we have made you proud. Class of 2020, I wanna end this by thanking each one of you. Thank you for sharing your beautiful cultures with me, for teaching me about healthcare in your respective countries, and for sharing your passions and your dreams for a just and equal world for all. Your friendship, your encouragement, and your humor have all added a splash of color to the mosaic of my journey in global health. No matter where we go after this, we will continue to be a family a little imperfect, but always ready to serve the underserved in our communities. Wherever the world takes you, class of 2020, remember that you will forever be a lion. Now go out there and do your best. Thank you.